Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. It means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Glee, I saw my parents. I know. You have to shoot me, honey. Glee, no. Van Domeed and Krista. Lie to us. Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt. <gasps> Fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's, it's just me. Come on, guys. She's not saying. You expect us to believe you're out here all alone? <laughs> what the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Fucking around! Uh, Shit! Just uh, fuck over here! 
somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Carver would commit? That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look, I just want to say I'm sorry for, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him?
I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. 